Hey there, Ideal Protein Nation. Are you ready? This is episode 36, part two, the episode that was so epic we had to break it into two parts. In this episode, you will join myself and my amazing co-host, the amazing Lynn Roos, as we talk to our featured guest, Ideal Protein Nation icon, Geneva Eikhoff, about her upcoming uh, new version of her most famous cookbook, uh, Geneva's Ideal Recipes, the phase one cookbook that started it all. She is now done doing her second revision, and that revision is due to hit the stands later this month. And uh, we're going to talk all about what's new with the new version, uh, what goes into making a cookbook that's so epic like this, uh, why you have to have it, and when you can get your hands on it. So join us now as we take you through the, the rest of the, this epic episode and part two. Um, you're not going to listen carefully. There's so many great tips that she gives you. Uh, you're going to love this episode as well. Trust me. Okay. Part two of the episode, we're going to talk about something super epic for, for Geneva Nation, right? And we are going to talk about the upcoming release of the third revision? Is this officially the third revision this of would be the Ideal Recipes? It's actually the second revision of the original. So this would actually be the third cookbook. Yep. Okay. And, but the second revision. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about this beauty. Good Lord, oh, it's gosh. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Where do I, oh, thank you. Where do I start? Um, you know, the first one, the first cookbook came out in 2015. Since that time, I've uh, now written six cookbooks. I also have had learning curves over the, the you know, the, these last uh, six years. Um, this one, I'm, I'm so proud. I, I'm proud of all the works that go out there, but I'm very proud of this one. It's it's very quality. It's very professional, but it's not to the point. It, you, you, it's still relatable. Um, I'm a home cook. I don't, I want to open up a page and see something uh, inviting for me, uh, something that I, my skill level can make. Um, I made sure then what, when I put um, all the recipes together in there that they uh, were at that level. So it's, it's, it's easy enough for their beginner, but it's adventurous enough uh, and interesting enough for somebody who has more skills in the kitchen. That's um, a beautiful way to phrase it. Emphasize yeah. that beginner to gourmet you yes so simple but so good yeah I, and and you know it's uh so hopefully i have you know people have fun fun with it i just had a, a gal uh it just had made my heart sing she wrote uh to me on the page uh you know stating that she's thank you for the recipes she's uh making it's making cooking fun for her again I can't ask for more than that. If I've inspired somebody to get back in the kitchen and cook and take charge of their health through cooking, I, then my my work is I'm in just it's just such a uh, rewarding work uh, to do that. So, but you know, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you here real quick too. Yeah. You and I had a discussion, and I, and I think people need to understand the amount of work that goes into publishing a cookbook. Again, you know, we've been talking off and on over the past few months. Uh, this is, you know, you did kind of let me in that you were doing this. And mm -hmm. I, I was just uh, continuously uh, amazed by what goes in to create, you don't have to worry about me, like making my competitive cookbook. Because, <laughs> you oh don't want to. God, trust me. It's, seriously. It's, yeah. Talk to us. Tell us a little bit about the, the energy, effort, resources that go into creating a cookbook. This cookbook. Uh, it's, it's not a short story. I'll try and make it as brief as I can and to the point here. Uh, I ha oh, currently have over 500 recipes for the Ideal Protein Phase 1 journey. Wow. It's a quite it's quite a collection over the years. Um, most cookbooks take about two years to write. The reason for that being is because you, I mean you really can't create one dish every single day throughout the year. That'd be 365. It's just impossible. What happens is uh, for me is I get inspired to to make a dish. Uh, I've I've already solved in my mind how I want to make it. So I start. Uh, jotting down notes. I have lots of notes and, and for myself. And, and then I ha have to transfer those notes over to a grocery list and I make the grocery list. And after I make the grocery list, I have to make another note 
because I know that when I'm done with that, I have to, uh, I have to uh, um, take pictures of it. And taking pictures of it involves, it can involve uh, certain times of the day, I use uh, natural daylight. So I can't make something at night and expect to shoot it because I won't have any daylight. I won't have any light for mm. the picture, for the photo. So I have to, I, I have to, create the recipes around the daylight that I have. So when they come out of the oven or they're prepared, it has to be right around wow. midday. And so, yeah. so, so I have to st structure all of that. Um, then uh, that, so that's just the recipe creation. Now you have to run and you have to get all the ingredients and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot, my dishwasher sometimes run three times a day. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that takes a lot of work. You're, you're putting, you're putting dishes in, you're taking them out and putting them away. And you do that three times a day. You're making one dish. Your days go by very quickly. Uh, while mm -hmm. I really enjoy what, what it is. I mean, sometimes, and most of the time, I literally am working from bell to bell. Um, I've dedicated myself to it and I'm committed to it. And, and like I said, I, I don't have complaints about it, but anybody who has ever written a cookbook will uh, understand what I, what I'm saying. It's, 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 uh, it's also not only uh, just uh, a time commitment, but it's a financial commitment <laughs> yeah. that is, that is pretty hefty. Um, there's, well, you know, yeah. So we were talking about all the different parts of that, right? So, yeah, yeah. you know, again, you've got an editor, you've got, pre-production things that you go through how many edits yeah, um, do you go well, through well oh it's it, the proofing is it, it's unbelievable it's it's not it's it's amazing how you can write a recipe and reread it five or six times and still find things that need to be changed to get it perfected mm -hmm. yeah you know? especially when you have so many recipes everything has to be consistent you have to make sure you've got the temperature in there you know the oven in there and that has to start with that and when you list the ingredients they have to be listed in the order that you use them in the recipe because it's easier for the user to do that i've done not that yeah. through, uh, that kind of thing but uh, so um, but in this uh, what in this cookbook um, do you want me to get more into detail about what i put in there at this well, point so, or? but we're still no you still have not even like the, the, just even <laughs> like production, the okay. cost of production, paper, okay. right? Here we are. This is, I thought this was fascinating. We were talking about this right before the show, right? Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the price of paper these days and, yes. you know, what we're seeing on the news every single day about supply issues, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Um, man, you, you felt this personally and hard in this process, didn't you? I, I did. Um, I've had... Uh... You know, uh, this is uh, I've had the cookbook out since 2015. You know, and I've never had a price increase since, since then. I've had prices increased on myself, and it's it's, it's been uh, mostly for um, printing costs. When it comes to printing anything, the more you print, the quantity matters. So yep. the, the larger the quantity, the less you pay per piece. So what I did to counter counter that, so it wouldn't affect the, you know, the, the end user um, is I started ordering more uh, in quantity mm -hmm. so that it would keep the price down for them. It's, uh, so, but then now there's costs of paying storage and those fees mm -hmm. and all that. So it's, you know, it's a delicate balance, but. Uh, and you've got to you have know, a distribution center and then you've got to yes. have, right? I've got two, I mean, yes. I've got two distribution centers. There's one in Canada. Uh, and one in the United States. When I first started this, I only had the wow. U.S. Dis distribution, and we were sending things over the border, and it was getting too expensive for our Canadian yeah. uh, friends, and uh, just just the fees going across the border. So now, um, anytime that happens, I have a broker that can get it across and back. But l luckily, I have where the it's at, this cookbook is actually printed um, in Canada, but I'm a U.S. I'm a U.S. company, but it's printed in Canada, so. Uh, the broker goes back and forth. So anybody in Canada, there's no fees, extra fees you have to pay uh, to have it shipped, um, to, you know, to your home or clinic That's or awesome. what have you. So, yeah, so, in Canada. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. And okay. um, yeah. Else? So again, it's just, it's, it's hard earned time, sweat, equity, blood, money, investment, and you're doing it all out of passion. Right. Yes. Yeah. There's no way yeah. you could create. And again, you are a food musician and yes. this is your latest mm -hmm. symphony. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> most most definitely. We can't wait to, to for it to come out. Yeah. But it is a labor of love. 
Yes. Um, also, also too, as I remember, uh, there's a charity that gets part of the proceeds too. There is. Can you, yes. can you tell us about that again? Remind us. Sure. Uh, the charity for uh, a portion of the proceeds from the sales of this cookbook, and it's been since the beginning, since 2015, yeah. uh, a portion goes to Samuel's House Foundation, which is my son's charity, uh, through Feed My Starving Children. Feed My Starving Children is a worldwide charity, Christian organization, Um they have four headquarters in the United States, but they feed children from all around the world. Uh, I started this because, you know, I lost my only son. And so after that happened, I went into quite a, a depression after that. And um, I, I, I stopped baking. I stopped, I, I stopped doing everything that I love to do because I, yeah. I lost my, I felt like I lost my purpose. And so, right. And so, you know, time went on. That was another, uh, I think, another reason I was eating my way through that those emotions, uh, you know, eventually. And so when when all this took place with the cookbook, uh, you know, becoming popular and all that, I just knew I had to give back. And the day that the production, uh, I had to send the, the uh, final uh, papers to the production or to the uh, uh, printers, I was running around town and I didn't have time to my tire kept going flat on my car i didn't have time to get it fixed and bring it into a shop so as i was running errands i had to quick quickly stop gas stations and put air in my tire and on and on the air compressor it said feed my starving children and i bet i used uh the air compressors around town at least nine times and every time i stopped it said feed my starving children i said this wow this is a sign. So yes. I so I came home and I called and I talked to the to the uh, director there. I told her what I wanted to do. I wanted to start uh, this charity in my son's name, and I wanted to start donating, uh, uh, you know, the proceeds from the cookbook. So she set up the website for it. And um, so uh, for, since 2015, where there's now we just hit the thirteen thousand uh, dollar mark. Um, it's it's fed over seventy thousand children a meal. Um, so wow. anybody, we all are contributing to it. So I want to yeah. thank everybody because there are, you know, um, there's a, there's a lot of people that do contact me. They like to uh, donate outside, you know, yes. they like to choose a charity, uh, and they have chosen Samuel's house as their, uh, so there's uh, lots of other generous individuals that are donating to it on top of the proceeds wow. from the cookbook. And so, so, um, and, um, Samuel's house foundation is in the top five most donations of any company worldwide. And we are, we can say that we are in the top five donors wow. for feed, feed my starving children. So oh, it's, uh, awesome. yeah, it's, it's Something a footprint. To be proud of for sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, and that's going to continue. That's so I will, you know, I will never. Yep. And I remember too, when I first ordered the cookbooks for our clinic, because um, again, I just, I, I saw how incredibly value, valuable it was and I wanted to carry them in my office. Um, but I was also worried that if I bought them and sold them that, uh, the donation part of that would be missing. And so I emailed you, I don't know if you remember that, mm -hmm. but I emailed you very specifically and I just said, Hey, I just wanted to be sure that if I decide to order these and sell them in my clinic, that, uh, you know, that the charity portion for Samuel's house still happens. Uh, and yes. you said, Oh, absolutely. Right. Yes. Yes. So whether you're buying it online through Geneva's uh, website or whether you're buying it at your local ideal protein clinic, yes. um, you know, that, that still happens and you're still part yes. of what's going on there. Yeah. Well, we're all in it really together. So I just want to, you know, thank everybody who invests in this. It's, you're also feeding children. Uh, yeah. You know, no, it's been so a blessing. Important. So important. And that's why we really, yep. we respect uh, the work and the, the effort, yes. the time and, and what it's doing around the world. Um, that's why we respect your copyrights. We would never ever Xerox uh, one of your recipes Thank you. and hand it to a client. Um, you know, this I is, appreciate that a lot. Yeah, no, it's it, really, I just, I want everybody to understand how powerful, how wonderful what you've done and what this, this is. And Thank uh, you. that's why I enjoy doing the show. So Thank that you. being said, um, tell us why we need this one. Why do I need another edition <laughs> of this one? What is in this cookbook? 
Okay, so what I've done between this one, I, I okay, let me back up. I have a frequently asked questions list. It's gonna be an FAQ. I've already put it together um, on a Word doc and I'm gonna store that in the files on my cookbook page. So if anybody has questions, what's the difference between the one they might have now and what's the difference between the new one coming out? All those questions uh, should be answered on the FAQ that I'll store there. Um, so the, diff, uh, the main difference is uh, when the cookbook needs to be refreshed. One of the reasons it needs to be revised and refreshed is because we all like new, fun, interesting food recipes for one. Um, yep. Sometimes over the years, you know, Ideal Protein will change. Uh, they'll discontinue a product. They'll, uh, a, a new product will come out, several new products. I like, yeah. uh, you know, working with the new products too. Um, and so, so this one includes uh, up up through uh, June. Uh, any of the new products that came out, um, they're going to be uh, in in the cookbook. Um, and uh, so, I have removed obsolete recipes out, mm -hmm. and I put in 139 brand new recipes. And so this I'm one, sorry, how many? Just, <laughs> there's 139 new ones. And uh, we're, we're doing this all from your kitchen. Yes. From yeah. Wow. And, and, and if there's, there's 139 new ones, how many is there total? There's 245 total. Wow. So what I did is there's always favorites. There, you know, it's it's fan yep. favorites over the yep. years or member favorites. Um and I keep those in there. They're classics. They're classics in phase one and classics that you can take into maintenance. Um, what I've done though with this cookbook, if any any that I've moved from the other cookbook into this one, I've gone through every single recipe and I've gone through to re either um, simplify the recipe uh, by, by um, uh, you know order of ingredients. I, I've either amped them. I've I made. Every single every single recipe has gone over once again, and so um, it's it, it's refreshed. This cookbook is refreshed. Um, it's got it's got um, sixty more pages in it than the mm -hmm. uh, current one. So the current cookbook has a hundred pages in it. This one's got a hundred and sixty pages. It's a wow. thick book. It weighs about a pound and a half. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's. Uh, so you can um, use it to work out with too. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, um, it's it's very qual. You know, it's quality paper. It's it's the best uh, four color photos. Um, I'm excited to say that every single recipe now has a photo, and and that yeah. even includes yeah. dressings, dressings, and you know, yeah. all all of it, so that wow. you can in, in, instead of reading. You can just visual. I think we learn visually first, yep. and so so we can pick out. Oh, that looks good, or whatever, and then and then go from there. Um, uh, what I also did is I changed the the structure on the inside. Um, the current cookbook is it's called newspaper style, where it has columns like this, you know, on each page. But what happens is those recipe go goes up to this column, and it's yeah. sometimes or to the next page, and it's. It, to me, that's not as user friendly as it should be. So I wanted to correct that and enhance it. So, so this cookbook has no more than two recipes per page. Sometimes there's just a single recipe. The font is bigger size. It's easier to read. Um, it's really a nice book. Um, and and so and and I've I've added a lot more um, ma main dish meals in there. Uh, there's a lot more uh, poultry recipes. There's a lot more beef recipes, uh, salads, um, soups, lots of new soups. Um, there's wait. there's you more unique, fun, delicious vegetables. Um, I've added now a roasting, not just a vegetable vegetable weight chart, which has been in there. Um, it uh, you know for measuring vegetables by weight, but I've now added a um, a roasting chart for vegetables using the oh. vegetable. Oh, there you go. Yeah. A using roasting chart, you say. Talk to me <laughs> yes. about that. Talk to me. Okay. So what I did is, you know, I just explained at the top a little bit, you know, uh, about roasting. Um, I mentioned earlier, I like to, I like to roast on the bottom rack um, because I feel, I feel like it caramelizes the, uh, 
the uh, you get kind of that crunchy, nutty deliciousness when when the vegetables start to brown. Um, and so the heat is is very strong at the bottom of the uh, the um, oven. So if you're roasting vegetables in the middle rack, that's fine. But if you want them really caramelized, just put them on the bottom. And so I have some tips at the top. Um, down below is most of the main uh, protocol recipes or recipes, um, vegetables that we use on phase one. And so I listed those, uh, the preparation for them, the, the time, uh, the amount, uh, temperature and time in the oven, and then just some helpful hints on what what kind of seasonings to use with them. So just, yeah. So right there, there I think there's about 15, 15 ish uh, vegetables uh, mm -hmm, that were yeah. now, were now added to to there. So instead of running to the internet and trying to get you know all that, it's just all in one right there, right there for you. And it's all the vegetables we use because if you I get the, squash, I'm seeing that. Look, at yeah, that. yeah. So yeah, because if you get roasting charts from the internet, uh, they're going to have other vegetables we don't use, and okay. and this this one is just strictly phase one uh, vegetables. So. That's great. Hey, uh, real quick too. What what is that picture of that I included in there? Uh, I'm not a vegetable that, guy, but it looks like I might eat that. Yeah, I think you you should try really try this. And basically, what it is is tomato braised cauliflower, and I I basically taken the spaghetti sauce, which is a very popular mm, yep. sauce. Uh, I put it in a Dutch oven. That Dutch oven is you know it looks like a big soup pot. You put that in there, and then I trim up and clean and trim up uh, a whole cauliflower head and submerge it in there. Uh, put a little bit of water on for steaming, put the lid on it, let it go. Set it, set it on the stove top. When you take it out, I just cut it in wedges and put a little sauce on top. I've had a non ideal protein people say, this is so good. And, yeah. and people say this could totally take the place of pasta for me. It, it, it really sort of is like that because it's so flavorful that, that, uh, Spaghetti sauce cooks so long and those flavors meld together for about 40 minutes. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really amazing. And the, the uh, cauliflower is pork tender. I mean, it melts in your mouth. It, there's no crunching going on. It's just, it's beautiful. It turns wow. out really nice. So that's one of my favorite new uh, vegetable recipes for the cookbook. Wow. And, and it's easy too. You know, I mean, as there's nothing, if you have the spaghetti sauce made, which I usually always have in, in my fridge, you know, then you can just dump it in, throw in the cauliflower, put the lid on and let it go. Put the How timer. are you storing so, your spaghetti sauce in the, in the freezer or fridge by individual servings or. Um, it, you know, that's a good question because I've done both. Um, I usually, I usually put it in there. Oh, I'm on maintenance for the most part, right. you know, uh, even though I do, do eat a lot of ideal protein foods cause I yeah. love them, but, uh, you know, the packets, but, uh, um, so I just usually have it in a jar, you okay. know, just with a okay. lid on it, but it, okay. you know, as far as how long does it last? Well, first of all, I should say, if you want to do it in individual uh, servings, that's a, a great idea because you, it, it freezes beautifully yes. and, uh, it just, it, there's no problem with freezing the pizza sauce. So, uh, but it lasts. That's quite a quite a long time in the refrigerator. When you start to see fuzz at the top, <laughs> throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's all I get. That's your no, but I'd say, you know, I'd I'd keep <laughs> I no, I but when if it's if it's uh I usually keep it in there for about a week before I would then I would freeze it or usually freeze it. You know, I mean it's it's good for about a week. So I love to have it in the freezer and I love to take your sausage seasoning, Greek seasoning taco and just make multiple batches all together so that I can just reach it. Yeah, that's. Yep. Yeah, me too. I do the same thing. Yeah. yeah perfect. So I heard you mention uh, earlier, you started to talk about the dinner recipes and oh, when yeah. you and I talked uh, the other day, you're super excited about uh, dinner recipes. The whole family can get excited about, which they already mm -hmm. are. Yes. Um, but you know, uh, again, you were super happy about that. You said, what is it like two thirds of this book is, is more oriented towards whole foods and. Yeah. Yes. And fa you know, family friendly recipes. Um, I feel like 
uh, you know, I read, so, uh, I'm online reading a lot of what, what uh, the dieter wants and needs. And uh, one of them is family friendly recipes because yeah. it's so, fr- they're so frustrated by eating what they're eating. And then they see the family eating something else. And, and especially if you're the, if you're the cook in the family and, yeah. and, and you're in the phase one member and you have to make two meals, I don't think that's fair. It's, it's, first of all, it's time consuming. Um, and, it you know you just it, set, it feels like you'd set yourself up for absolutely uh, just more, failure more really in the end than, yeah. you know just yeah. yeah I mean so so it was important to me to include uh, these recipes as, as something that the rest of the family would eat including young children yes. to teenagers mm-hmm. to teenagers to you know uh, adults and um, these two that you have on here are some of my stellar absolute favorite the one on the left uh left is um the coffee crusted beef roast it oh, is I, it's, again I, i'm looking at the picture number one the picture is so amazing i can almost smell and taste it absolutely yeah and mm-hmm. it's going to be the first thing i do as soon as the book comes in yeah yeah it's uh i i put together um a coffee rub for it and then oh. the important part the important part is searing it and getting that crust yeah i know so, that i'm looking at that so yes yeah. and and then and uh in that particular recipe and i should mention this now um now with the, the air fryers and the instant pots and that kind of thing uh so many of the recipes especially like the roasts and all that they have a crock pot uh method and and i've also included an instant pot method i also have That's some air fryer crazy. recipes too so That's I've converted so cool. them. Yeah. So I've converted them for the people because they'll ask me sometimes. And, and a lot of times I don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. But yes. I've but I've actually tried these both ways. So so both methods are listed uh in the book for that and in and this one in particular. And so I mean it's uh and then there's a little bit of a sauce you put in, you you, you put it in and you forget about it, whether it's instant pot or the crock pot and and it has that juice and you cut it up oh, and Lord. it just it's yeah, it is. It melt. It just melts away when you cut into it, and it's, it's, it's a unique rub that has this deep, dark, complex, rich flavor that uh, is hard to to get out of just a, a simple crock pot um, and, roast. And th- this is the one you said that you're sending me after the show. <laughs> I well, you have to fly here. I'll make it for you. Wow. <laughs> but, 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 Again, <laughs> that picture <laughs> makes me almost want to buy the ticket. <laughs> well, I just have to say your passion for what you do shows as you're talking the the I'm thinking of all the work that goes into you doing this and you are just gleeful about it. We I am blessed. gleeful. We are I, so I'm, blessed. Oh, well, I feel blessed too. It goes both ways. I I'm so blessed that I get to do something I really love to do and I feel yeah. like this truly was was my calling. And I don't, I'm, let me just say real quickly, because in high school, I wanted to be a home economist and, and work for Betty Crocker test kitchens. Um, they, it just so happened. My, yeah. My high school was, was 10 miles away from the Betty Crocker test kitchens where Pillsbury and, and General Mills is based out of Minnesota. And so we took a, a field trip there and I remember walking into the test kitchens. I can still picture it in my mind. And it was just, I want to work there. I, long story short, I took a turn into architecture, uh, interior design and architecture. But I also wanted to be a social worker. That was one of the other things I really, because there, I have, I have sort of a tender soul and I like to uh, uh, help people, uh, encourage people. I had a very good upbringing myself and I I want other people to feel that and feel um, in charge of their lives and, and enjoy their quality of life. So combined between those two things, I feel like that's where I'm at. And that's where, you know, I was meant to, to do this. So that's maybe where you see, that's see the pa- passion feel. coming from. That's what I feel. Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely wonderful. Well, good. So tell us about this recipe on the right. Oh. It's, uh, it's, it's, I could eat it every day. Okay. It's a, it's a, a piece of sea bass and it's got a delicate Japanese broth that it cooks in. And I'm going to tell you, when I say that, it sounds very fancy. I was just going to um, say, I, I was, right? It's, it's not. You make this. You make the sauce, which is uh, like a combination of soy sauce, lime juice, um, ginger. Um, I, I cut up a serrano pepper. That can, uh, so there's some uh, cilantro in there. You mix it up, 
you take the you take the uh, sea bass, throw it, put it in a pan, pour half the sauce over the top, throw it in the oven, bake it, take it out, put the rest of the sauce on, serve it. That's that's as simple as it is. But if you eat this, you'll think that a chef made it. And I'm going to say, if you're a beginning cook and you want to impress your friends and family, this is the dish. It's oh. unbelievable. Now I had um, uh, there's a couple of friends, some friends of ours um, came up to this area. Uh, a couple of weeks ago and they had a timeshare up here. And I said, well, come on over for dinner because I, the night before we played cards at their place and I watched Mike, his alarm was going off and he was running over to the kitchen taking pills. And I said, what are you doing? And he's a diabetic. I didn't know this. We haven't seen them for a while. He was setting the timer to take pills for his wow. diabetes. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and I, we started talking about the low carb thing. I said, you're coming to my house and I'm going to make a low carb dinner for you. And she, cause he's, poo-pooing the low carb he thinks it's right. gonna be tasteless yep. and, I, right. and I said and I'll make you a low carb meal and I made so they came over I made them this sea bass and before I could even sit down at the table with them I had served them first and I had to get some I heard there is cooing going on there was <laughs> <laughs> cooing and, and ooing and like yeah. cave, cave dweller noises they their faces were planted they're like Oh my goodness. And, oh. and, and, uh, you know, I had served it with some maintenance, uh, low carb things, uh, but they couldn't, they couldn't get over it. And, um, so it's, it's, like I said, it's, it's impressive yourself to eat it. I've got several. Hey, real quick, pro yes. Real quick. Um, I had this brilliant idea. Andrew Likeval, if you're out there, you, me and Geneva, <laughs> we're, we're opening a restaurant. Um, we're going to open a low carb keto ideal protein restaurant. Wow. Wouldn't there. that be, wouldn't uh, that be amazing? We're going to have chain Give me a call franchises. On the, all right, let's get yes. back to the show. Tell us okay. more about this dish. <laughs> um, so anyways, no, it's, uh, it, it, it cooks, it's easy. It cooks quickly. It's amazing. Um, and, uh, what I like about eating fish during ideal protein, if I, those, I like eating fish quite often because I feel, uh, you, you can eat and feel full on it. But you know, there's less calories and all that kind of thing. It's, it's just light, it's, 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 it's a, definitely it's a slight. lighter, yeah, yeah, a lighter, yeah, it's a lighter, a lighter protein, meal, if you will. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, and when it's plated like that, wow! I know that's what yeah. I said. That's why I yeah. say we're opening yeah. a restaurant, yeah. Andrew. If you can hear me now, <laughs> we're get together with Geneva. <laughs> That'd be All awesome. right, what else we got? Oh, okay, man, what do we got yeah, here? Okay, let's, so. Let's, let's, Go divert ahead. from from the uh, from the main dishes to what do we got here? No, wait. These are phase one compliant. These are all phase one compliant. They will be in the new uh, cookbook that's coming out in December. Yep. So on the left is the lemon raspberry uh, bundt cake. It's mm -hmm. um, that light, refreshing uh, lemon zest. Uh -huh. uh, I, I use the Le Meyer lemon zest in that one. Um, uh, there's the, there's the raspberry jam that runs through the center of it. It gives it a, kind of a sweet, acidic, uh, wonderful taste with in combination with the lemon. Um, this cake is, I was making it and my significant other Rory was uh, probably watching football or whatever he was doing. And, <laughs> um, and, and I was telling, I made the cake and I ate it and I was just like, oh man, this is unbelievable. And I said, do you want to try it? Well, he, he's, he's, you know, eats cheeseburgers and fries. We couldn't be any different. And, and I said, <laughs> and I said, um, can just try it here. Just try it. So take a bite. I gave him a bite of that. He looked at me, he goes, can I have another bite? And I said, sure. <laughs> I, gave, I, gave, I gave him that. And he said, look, and he had goosebumps. He ate wow. this. He, he said, that cake is so good. It gave him goosebumps. And he's, a, he's never had to diet in his life. So, and he's a picky eater. So that's a testimonial to that one there. It's really good cake. Yeah. Say, uh, say yeah. what you will. Say what you will. Rory's the man. <laughs> yeah, right on. So what's, your, so, what's your foundation? Hey, Rory, you cake? can come to our restaurant. You can be a part of it. Yeah. Yes. And watch <laughs> us eat. Um, well, <laughs> Sit at the bar with question? me. What's yeah, your for that cake? What, what IP product? Ah, uh, gosh. Um, Boy, you got me there. Connor I can't re I, oh. I can't remember. No, I mean I have like over. Five yeah, I was gonna say how many recipes so, this this lady got. Yeah, I'm looking at that, oh. trying to analyze it, going wow. Yeah, tell, well, well, tell me about the icing. Oh, yeah. uh, the you know the icing is um, I I may I did put you know some 
uh, food coloring in it to make it look more appealing to the eye. Yeah. Um, and I used some real lemon juice and lemon rind and some uh, ideal protein uh, sir maple syrup, uh, a little bit of that it sweetens it real nice. And some of the um, marshmallow dip from Walden Farms. So Having yeah. said that, as long as I, when I'm talking about wow. Walden Farms, I use I use their raspberry uh, spread in the center and their marshmallow because they're very worthy of this kind of a, and uh, baked good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes Walden Farms gets a bad rap. I have taken a lot of the Walden Farms out of the book as much as I can. But when I feel that it, you, uh, like I said, everything's been tested, of course, and if it's worthy, I've kept it in there. And you, I mean, when I, when I give this cake to somebody who's never dieted before, he didn't make any comment about the flavor being off or anything. It's, oh, it's, wonderful. it's really, yeah, it, yeah it's really That's delicious. Amazing. So, and, and if somebody's got a birthday or a celebration, this is a perfect cake. And, and it, mm. it's, it's like four servings for the whole cake. I mean, so you, you get quite a, a generous piece um, for, uh, yeah, for dessert or snack or whatever you use it for. Um, so moving to, moving to, is that it on that one? I can move to yeah, the, what's, that. Yeah, what's okay. the center picture? It's a crustless pumpkin pie. And <clears throat> get out of here. It <laughs> is. I'm telling you what, this is to me one of the most prized recipes in the in the cookbook because, um, well, because it, uh, I mean, I'm not a huge pumpkin pie fan. And of course, we had it at um, Thanksgiving and we had it at um, Christmas. And I actually like this one better than the standard pumpkin pies that you buy in a bakery. It is un. Believable. It's silky. It's custardy. It has that enough of that texture that you'd expect from a pumpkin filling. Um, it's absolutely delicious. It's very easy to make. Um, and the nice thing about it, it only uses half of an unrestricted for one little pumpkin pot, uh, one dish there. So you're only using a half of unrestricted. Uh, in the cookbook, though, for that particular recipe, this is sort of a special one. I say that because it's uh, it. I use dairy. I use the half and half in there uh, mm -hmm. to get that to get the custard in there, and yeah. you, you so you can only limit yourself to eating one in a day. Otherwise, your dairy limit goes over. Okay. But okay. but it, it, in that particular case, and I say it's kind of a special one. I list underneath there that information so that it's very clear especially to newer uh, yeah, yeah. Fa phase one dieters that might not understand how to start counting things. Um, and that so, is critical. I'm sorry to interrupt, but the way you break it out for all of us, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. That's and what I've I was got to say, yeah, I've taken it a step further this time through this one, because what was happening is I, the, the recipes before. So at the bottom, uh, of every recipe, so letting people know uh, it, it, it uh, I tell whether it's unrestricted, restricted, uh, and explain how it fits into the, you know, easily fits into the program, how to count it for, for phase one. Uh, I've now added oil. I've counted the oil for you. Uh, for example, I've got a homemade mayonnaise recipe that is like a French mayonnaise that you cannot even believe. You will never eat jarred mayonnaise again. And I've counted wow. the oil. I've comes with the oil for you in that one. So all you have to do is scoop it up and you know, you've got the two teaspoons or one teaspoon, or whatever you have. So, so the, so the oil has been counted. Um, the only a dairy has been counted. Uh, of course the, uh, the, the ounces of protein, the amount of vegetables, um, and vegetables are very tough to count when you're coming to, you know, with sauces right. and things like that, yeah, because absolutely. That, that's all been broken down. I figured that out. Uh, put that in there. The only thing I don't include is extras. I did it in a few different recipes uh, for special reasons, but um, the extras you would have to count. Okay. Uh, but I made sure I didn't use more than four uh, okay. in, in any recipe. Uh, it seems like the extras vary from clinic to clinic, and I didn't want to be the one to decide gotcha. what, what was extras. So, so the clinics should um, maybe have to be involved in in, in that part of it, but, you know, teaching them how to count extras, but, but otherwise, mm -hmm. um, for the most part, all those are included now in the, in this book. So, so the pumpkin pie, uh, this, 
phenomenal. Amazing. I've got another so decadent. Well, I've got another one too, kind of a rift off this. It's a, it's a, using coffee. It's a coffee custard. Um, oh. kind of a, 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 it's, it's really good too. It's creamy. Oh. It's just, it's just, it's just wonderful. So there there's that. Go. And then moving to the, uh, to the next one. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a creature of habit all the time when it comes to eating. I like a variety of foods, so I don't really get stuck on one particular thing. Um, but I get, I got stuck on these. It's the breakfast buzz muffins. Uh, and I, this is actually a jumbo in the new cookbook, uh, or in the in the current cookbook or the old cookbook, I'll I'll say no. Um, they're just regular muffin si size, and, and then in the new cookbook, I've made them jumbo, and I've mm. completely changed the recipe ingredients with the same flavor profile. And this one, after you make it and let it cool, and you taste it's the the crumb and the texture is so soft and tender. It, it's like it's like a baked good that you've used that that delicate uh, baking flour to cake make flour, it. It's, yeah. it's yeah, cake flour. It's so it's so good. Um, this will rival any any baked good. So in our oh. restaurant that we have, so when yes. you and uh, Andrew and I have that restaurant, yes, yes. we'll have a ba- we'll have a bakery, little uh, coffee store. shop, little yes. coffee shop with, bakery. Yes, with Idol Protein. We'll get that- We'll Baked get that goods. same coffee machine you have behind you. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I got it. No, I can't. I can't wait for Lynn to make these breakfast buzz muffins. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, they're I so good. Know. Wait for January for this. I know. Well, no, she she said she sent me this one too. Um, I did, but I also did have to clarify that CBD is not in the protocol yet, Geneva. I was concerned when this when, when I heard the breakfast buzz. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, well, did I say CBD? Or did <laughs> <laughs> we know we're <laughs> yeah. I'm no, not the, sure what's uh, going on in Minnesota, but <laughs> <laughs> no. But the uh, the the buzz comes from there's uh, I use uh, actual coffee, uh, instant coffee in the flavoring in that uh, that one. So it's it's like a, yeah. sort of a mo- mocha flavor. Oh, uh, the cho- the awesome. chocolate. The cho- and chocolate can have caffeine in it too. So yeah. it's it's a it's a nice pick me up breakfast Love muffin to get you going yeah. in the morning. So that's okay, where that comes from. Nation, tell me what deprivation you are seeing <laughs> with this photo. Okay. No. There is no deprivation when Geneva no, is no, around. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah no. I don't like feeling deprived. So yeah. that's that's another motivator uh as well for making these recipes too, so. Yeah, no, absolutely. Again, yeah. I, I think that you've demonstrated and you've, you've literally just taken this thing to the next level as if yes. there could be one, right? You know, we still marvel over the Let's, recipes and the addition we've got. Uh, yeah. And um, I, I, I cannot wait for this new edition to come out. Um, and so, you know, let's talk, uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, when and how are people going to be able to get their hands on this one? Okay, so um, I, by this uh, Friday, I will be posting some more information for everybody on the uh, Facebook cookbook page. And it will have uh, more information about how to order and that kind of thing, specifics. Um, so pre-orders are going to start a week from Friday on December 10th at noon. So I've got my web uh, Ready staff to go. ready to go. They've already got the information. They're creating all the you know the back office things now. So about noon it'll go it'll go live and and the the current cookbook will no longer be featured. It'll be the new cookbook. And if you see the new cookbook on there, that's the one that you're getting. So yeah. you don't have to, you don't have to question, am I getting the new one or not? If, if you're clicking on, you see that same cover photo, that's the one, then you'll be, that's when you're ordering. And I'll know that anyways, because uh, that's the only one we're going to be sending out. So, yeah. um, and then, and then, um, so there, there'll be, this is sort of a pre-order situation. I have not received the cookbooks yet. Of course, they're still being printed. Um I want to interject real quick here because when I, that just yeah. gave me another day. And I didn't talk to you about this, but each each of the cookbooks now are individually vacuum sealed in plastic. If COVID taught us anything, it taught us about germs, dirt, cleanliness. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody felt that, 
you know, the cookbooks have never been touched. They come right off the printing rack. They go right through the vacuum sealer and they've never been touched by anybody. Um, wow. So the, and that goes for when clinics order these, if they order them by the case, every single yeah. one of them in, in the case will be individually uh, vacuum sealed as well. So, yeah. okay. Amazing. She not only thinks up so, recipes, but safety, everything. Wow. Well, just it, it's it, after that many years, you just, you know, hopefully we all, progress and evolve into better, better and better things. And I, and that's just, you know, was a concern of mine co coming into this next one. So um, we'll start uh, uh, distributing the cookbooks, both in United States and Canada, starting uh, the week of the 27th, which means that okay. as the orders come in on the 10th, it's just a first come first serve. So um, if you're, if, if yours, ends up going out the, you know, the 31st or, well, it won't because it's, well, I, but we've got the holiday in there and two, you know, right. with the, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and part of it was, you know, I lined this up so that we could have it by the new year, but not crush us in, into Christmas because for one, there's surcharges going on right now with USPS. They're increasing mm -hmm. uh, the cost of um, printing or not print, sorry, of uh, totally. postage. Yeah, yeah, shipping and and over it's a it's a, a holiday surcharge. He's never done it before, so it's more expensive. I didn't want to pass that on to you folks, and and um, so uh, on the twenty seventh that goes away, and we can we can uh, save on shipping and and that kind of thing, and we don't have to worry about the Christmas rush. So uh, rest assured that uh, if you order it and you and you receive, you know, the you'll all get a confirmation email that it's been received by distribution and we will work uh, diligently to get these out to you as fast as we can. So on the 27th. Um, yeah. So, so that's how it's going. Yeah. So my next question being a clinic that uh, mm -hmm. has uh, your cookbooks here in our office, um, it, when is, is that December 10th and an order date for clinics as well who want to have and want to, to feature and sell your books in their clinic? Yeah, what uh, what we'll do with uh, case orders um, when when the orders come in to the distribution center, for lack of a better term, they'll be split between um, mm -hmm. clinics and individuals um, purchasing the cookbook, and then they'll be shipped out from those separate division those divisions separately. So, okay. yeah. So, so, so the soonest the oh, soonest sorry. that we could expect to have them in our in our office, most likely they'll go out after December twenty seventh. So. You know, to to be sure, we'll probably give it till that first week of January that uh, yes. we hopefully can have those in our clinic. Right, especially when you've got now we've got the holiday with you know New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, yeah, but they right. but they all um, what I should say uh, you know the the cookbooks the uh, in the past you know they had there was twenty to a case now it's fifteen to a case because they're they're thick and right. they're heavy but they're yeah. going to go in this they're going to go in the same same boxes so that's changed a little bit if anybody has. Any questions about that, they can just email me or, or, or direct message me on Facebook, or whatever. Um, we've got those. those I'll, I'll let you know that information and how that works. But uh, and um, they, they everything goes uh, in the United States. Everything goes uh, flat rate uh, USPS priority. So yeah. it's two to three, two to three day. It's, it's pretty quick turnaround. And I think most people that ordered one probably got there pretty quick. So, yeah. Media mail yeah. might be a little bit less expensive, but now that the books are heavier, you don't. It, it, there's not that much of a savings, and you 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 can wait for media mail. It really is the worst uh, stale mail I've ever experienced after mm -hmm. doing this for six years. It's terrible. So I just uh, so that's why we decided to just stick with the priority mail. Right, it's quicker. Right. So and you know what, clinics again. I I'll put a plug in here for having this book on your shelves uh, to have immediately available for your your yes. clients um you know there's there's nothing like the ability of a coach when somebody says look i'm tired of chicken and broccoli <laughs> to, to walk <laughs> to walk that patient straight out and say well have you actually taken the time to look at this and, and to say uh, to them what do you like what are you hungry for and be yep. able to go to that page yeah, yeah. that's good yeah, so um, it's, it's an invaluable resource for your phase one clients. 
Well, thank you. It's a, it's a nice tool to have. I mean, there, there are recipes. In fact, there was, there was a few recipes, um, even on Pinterest back in the day. The problem with Pinterest is there's a lot of, for lack of a better word, it's just, there's a lot of junk and, and people are putting out recipes that aren't phase one. They say they're phase one, but they're not. And so yeah. for the unsuspecting new member, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. that's investing in themselves and they eat, you know, they, it could thwart their efforts. And so to find, you know, a place where you can just sit down on your sofa, you don't have to be on the internet. You can just, you know, you know, open it up. And, 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 and I mean, with 245 recipes, you've, you've got enough. You should, to you should be able to find something, right? Yeah. Well, and that's the thing too, that, that brings up an amazing point. Uh, we have that happen here all the time. And, you know, people go like, eh, I don't know. I'm not going to buy a book. And they go, oh, I found this on Pinterest. I found this here and I found that. I'm like, look, I don't know what it is. I don't know who wrote that. And I, mm -hmm. you know, I only trust people that I know and trust in this Geneva yeah. cookbook. I've got full yeah. faith and confidence that she's measured everything and everything is, is right there for you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so that's, it just makes it a no brainer. It makes it easy. And, and, you know, I, you and I talked about this before too. Uh, I, I told you a little story if I, if you don't mind me talking about that. Uh, yeah. the, okay. Um, so about 30 years ago uh, when I was five, <laughs> <No. Okay. laughs> see i knew so she about, wasn't 60 <laughs> so about 30 years ago i walked into a gym um i was i was an athlete growing up and i walked in this gym and i wanted to start the whole gym membership thing and back then they had quite a hefty what i felt was a hefty fee just to start up not just a monthly fee and so the, the, the trainer took me around the gym and showed me everything. It looked lovely. And we sat in his office and he says, okay. And he hands me the, and he said, that'll be, you know, the starting startup cost is 300 and whatever it was, $350. And I was stunned. I, I didn't, I didn't have that extra money. I, I didn't, uh, you know, I mean, that was a lot of back then. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't, that was a lot of money and uh, it still is. And, and so, um, you know, I hemmed and hawed and I said, I, I don't know that I can afford this. I think maybe I'll just come back, you know, when I can save some money. And he said, he said, looked at me, he says, are, are you worth $350? Is your health worth $350? And I went, yeah, it is. It is. And it was the first time in my life I realized that if I'm going to invest in anything, I'm going to invest in me. I'm going to invest in my health. I'm going to invest because when I do that, my quality of life, it, improves and I can live a good life over the years. I mean, I, so when, I mean, I have some people that, that are, that uh, say, you know, you can't really afford this. Uh, you know what? It's invest in yourself because you will never go wrong. We can, we can mess up $40 here and there doing stopping at Starbucks, yeah. going to, you know, buying that extra something that we don't need uh, somewhere. And I, I, you know, if you can find a tool to invest in yourself and it works for your life, it's just such a s simple, s small thing to invest in, in, in my opinion. So yeah. that's kind of where, where I come from. So when you mentioned that, I just wanted to bring that up because that's. No, it's, I, it's, it's know. absolutely. Yeah. That was dead on. Um, yeah. you know, again, it's, it's, you know, somewhere around 40 bucks and it's not just your health. It's the health of your family. Yes. You, you sure. are investing in your family as well. Yes. Like yes. you said, you know, start making these dinners that are in there and featuring them. You only have to, you know, do it once a week, then do it twice a week. And then before mm -hmm. you know it, Hey, where's that melt in your mouth yes. fork, mom? Where's that? Yeah. You know, yeah. Crack, yeah. Is it crack slaw night? Oh my God. It's crack slaw night. <laughs> <laughs> right? like, yeah, you know? Do you have any of those cookies, Grammy? And he's referring to the jumbo chocolate. Chip oh, yeah. oh yeah. That is so sweet. Yeah. When kid, when kids love the food, it just melts my heart. I'm telling you, I, yeah. Yeah. But you not only do this with the cookbook, but your Facebook page. Just mention your Facebook page for a minute. How many followers? Yeah, she's, well, she's up almost fifty nine. I checked it right before the show. Yeah, yeah. fifty nine thousand. Yeah, it's closing in on sixty, almost, almost. Um, yeah. I don't know what we'll do at sixty. We're gonna have some kind of celebration. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll but, have it. At uh, the yeah, it's, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fly in a member. And we'll, we'll, <laughs> yay! I um, love it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's. I believe right now it's the second largest. Well, it's to to ideal proteins. Um, social yeah. media page for yeah. ideal protein. Um, you know, members, 
members that come into the diet and go out of the diet, they're still there. I know a lot of people by their names, they hang in there, they want their recipes, they still want to learn. Uh, lots of people in maintenance, um, like I can name some of the people right off the I mean, they're, they're still in there. They're just, it's been, it's a community of people. It's easy to bond with other people in there because we're all in the same journey yeah. together. Um, I, I try to run uh, a page that I say a tight ship and I say that in, in, from the sense that I don't take the fun out of it. I just mm. want to make sure that the people get the accurate information uh, you know, and, and they're, in, and enjoying themselves at the same time. I don't put up with bullying. I don't, uh, I, it's pure ideal protein products yes. on there. And the reason I do that again is, is it starts to get confusing to other people. I, uh, it's, it's not a an alternative page. It's an ideal yep. protein page yep. and, and it's best for the members to do that, do it, uh, you know, run it that way. So, um, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, 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 about it's, my... it's about integrity is what it is. And it's, yeah. you know, it's about, it's about, again, not watering down this thing that is so amazing. Mm, um, yeah. You, you know, give getting, us sure. getting the full benefit, the full page layouts of this is what you can do for Thanksgiving or here. Right. Oh, right. Sure. Yeah. The invaluable the recipe, invaluable, totally, totally invaluable. Well, good. That's uh, it's nice to hear the yeah. feedback too, because it yeah. helps me be a better uh, admin too. I've, but you know, I'm on there a lot. I get tagged a lot. I can't always answer every single question. I try as much as I can. I do okay. spend a lot of time on there. Um, but uh, again, it's because it's a learning tool for me as someone who's providing information, education and tools for the people to use. So I need to keep on top of that and, and, and honestly, I enjoy it. I mean, it's to me to open it up and see uh, familiar faces and new faces. It's, it's just, it's, it's a joy. So, okay. so I enjoy doing that. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's a place where people feel um, safe enough to ask questions and if they think there, there's no stupid question, you know, there just isn't, please, uh, you know, engage in, in the uh, page. We, I'm happy to uh, answer questions or be involved as I can. So it's one Fantastic. of my favorite pages. Great job. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Good. I'm glad. All right, ladies, this has been an absolute blast. Um, oh, I, we could go on forever. I think I know we could, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, it's everything that I wanted it to be and more. In fact, like I said, uh, I might just split this into two shows yeah, uh, because there's just that much content in it, and and I, we love spending time with you. Can't wait to open the restaurant. You together. too. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Live demos, okay. On we'll, air we'll, work, we'll work on location yes, here shortly. Okay, okay. And the way you like to travel, I think we could hit a couple of large yeah, cities too. For right? sure. Wouldn't Charleston that be something? In, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Let's go, right? Yeah. Um, but in all seriousness, thank you for everything you do, Geneva. Thank you. Oh, for, thank um, you. You know, being this accessible. And, um, you know, we're going to do this again sometime. That I sounds fun. I believe it. Right? Happy, happy to do so. Yeah, in yeah. person Thanks one for, day. In yeah, person. for sure. In oh, we will. One yes. day. Yeah, one day. Maybe at a super weekend, we'll see. Yeah. As soon as yeah, yeah, as soon as they get those things going, um, yeah, you know, we will definitely get together. For sure, sounds good. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. Okay. Thanks, kiddo. You. Okay. I'm gonna have you hang out backstage for us real quick. Okay. Sounds good. All right. And actually, you know, this is what Lynn and my um, right now. This is what Lynn and my hearts are doing. Really? My uh -huh. heart is exploding. It's so full. <laughs> All right, kiddo. Wow. Never, never can get enough of Geneva. The little it. tiniest detail that she gives us and shares with us, there it's, is no deprivation, none. It's it's mind blowing to me, just some of that stuff. Again, you know, just the shape of the spoons, the mixing dry ingredients. Uh, there's two different kinds of lemons. Who knew that? Um, you know, again, the, now we the do. amount of information, right? The amount of information education we get from her uh, and inspiration for that matter is just awesome. Hey, Lynn. Do you think you want to do this again sometime? I loved it. It's, it's <laughs> like we were almost in person. And to all of you out there, what a blessing. What a pleasure to be a part of your life. Send us pictures of what you've tried, what your favorites are. Yeah, absolutely. Please do. Um, and we'll have to find another guest that we could co-interview together, maybe. 
Oh, that would be wonderful. Oh, I'm I'm up. I'm up for it. Let's do it. Oh, do watch mention, out. Yeah. When Dr. Barnes and I get together, it, it can be dangerous. So watch out. Just watch it's out. always a fun time. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you, Lynn. I appreciate Bye -bye. it. Uh, if there are any patients out there, can you please uh, take care of them? You got it. <laughs> I might be. Well, actually, hang out backstage again real quick, too. I'll talk to you in a sec. Man, I tell you, um, thank you so much for being with us, Ideal Protein Nation. Uh, this was an amazing experience, and I hope that you've enjoyed it, too. Uh, I've got another show already on the docket for to finish up 2021. We'll get another one to you in two weeks, the week of uh, December 15th. Um, I've got another amazing story of personal transformation and uh, a, a lady who has transformed herself, become a coach, and now is a uh, clinic partner. So, um, you know, those stories always warm my heart because uh, that was my story as well. Um, so until then, keep reaching for life possible. Stay on track. Meet with your coaches. Get through this holiday season. If you don't have that baking kit, oh, dear Lord, go get it, because this is the way you're going to get through January uh, without missing a step. Um, so to everybody, I am going to sign off now. Mm -hmm.